Hey, welcome back to Fat Mama Physics. In these videos, we are going to talk about the normal force and going over some examples. I assume that you have a basic understanding of what the normal force is, and it's a re it's a reaction force that acts perpendicularly against away from a surface when you put some sort of press force or pressure on it. A good example is when you sit on a chair and your weight is pushing against the chair, the chair pushes in, against you in the opposite direction, equal and opposite with a normal force. Sometimes surfaces aren't are not horizontal, they may be vertical, they may be on an angle, such as I have an example here where I have an incline. We will talk about more we will talk about inclines more later, but notice that the Fn might not act always in the upwards direction. It might change depending on what your surface is. But it always does act perpendicular to your surface. So coming back to the chair example, here you could calculate the normal force that the chair is exerting on you, and since there are no other forces except the normal force and force due to gravity, these two must be equal and opposite for you to not be accelerating on your chair. So if we know Fg, we know Fg is mass times gravity on Earth is 9.81 meters per second squared, you can calculate your Fn, which is your mass times gravity. That I can let you do at your own leisure. But the question now I want to bring up is, is Fn always equal to Fg? Every year I get students when they're doing problems, they all, somewhere in their work I see Fn is equal to Fg and I really, really, really dislike that because you really need to know your situation. Fn could be anything, not always equal to Fg. And these examples that I will be going over most of them will talk about times where it's not equal to Fg. So let's do the first one right now. You have Reiner, almost 100 kilograms. Anger Aaron. So Aaron decided to pick Reiner off his seat. Okay, so Reiner is getting lifted off his seat. He will be thrown out the window, but Aaron is not strong enough to pick him up. I guess he's kind of heavy. He only uses a force of... 710 newtons to lift him up. What is the normal force that the chair is pushing against Reiner's bottom? So it seems like the object of interest here is Reiner. So let's draw Reiner on a chair. Okay, so then we can now draw a few forces acting on him. The first and foremost, we know that a force due to gravity is always acting on him. That is his weight. We also know that there is some sort of normal force acting on Reiner. And notice I haven't drawn it to the full length as the uh, as equal to weight because I know that something else is pulling him up. Aaron is lifting him up to at uh, 710 newtons. This is the lift force acting in the upwards direction, which in in addition to the normal force will equal to Reiner's weight since Reiner is not moving. So I adjusted my length of my arrows accordingly. We have a Reiner's mass, which is right there. We also know that the acceleration due to gravity is 9.81 meters per second squared. And the question is asking for Reiner's normal force. So with all the information here, we can go ahead and solve for his normal force. First and foremost, since we have a free body diagram, we have F net equals to MA. Reiner's acceleration is going to be zero since it doesn't seem that he's even moving away from his chair at all, right? Aaron just fails to pick him up. So this becomes zero, F net is zero. And if we write out F, net equa F net's equation, we get, I'm gonna put label the upwards direction as positive. We get the lift force plus the normal force minus Fg, because it's in the opposite direction, all of that equal to zero. Considering just this part of these, this equation here, I am going to isolate for the normal force. Turns out that the normal force is just Reiner's weight minus Aaron's lift force. So let's figure out Fg first, since we already know the lift force. We know that Fg is equal to mg, and Reiner's weight is 99.9 .9 kilos times gravity. Let's calculate that out. We get 980.019 newtons, which I'm not going to round now, but we'll substitute here in this equation I have with Aaron's lift force to find his normal force. 
we get Reiner's normal force is 270.019. Rounding up to two significant figures, we get 270 newtons in the upwards direction. Notice that is not equal to Air Reiner's weight because Aaron did a bit of a job in holding him up on a seat. Okay, in the next example, we have a very similar situation, but this time we have a scale lifting this weight up. I'm going to give you a chance to try this problem. Actually, first, let's just go over it since if we to understand. Let's go over this question first to make sure we fully understand it. So somebody is lifting this mass off the table with a Newton scale. So this is our object of interest. At one moment in time, the scale reads two Newtons. So imagine the scale uh, will depress itself. It's there's a spring inside. The more you pull on this spring, which the mass is doing right now, the higher the reading on the scale. So this scale itself tells you the force that it is pulling on this object right here. What is the normal force that the table is acting on the mass? So you're trying to find a normal force acting on this block by the table. All right, here is a good time to pause the video and which I will play the fast play of my solutions afterwards. Now, right, it's my turn to go over this problem. All right, let's start with a free body diagram of this mass. First, we have its weight. We have the one of the forces is our lift force, FL, and that's two newtons as given in the problem with the scale. And the second one is your normal force that we don't know what it is and are trying to calculate. Gravity is 9.81 and mass is 500 grams. So starting with F net equals MA, since A is zero, F net is zero. With F net equals a zero, upwards direction being positive, here is our F net equation isolating for the Fn. We get F net, Fn is equal to Fg minus Fl. And uh, we need to know Fg from Mg. So calculating at that, don't forget that grams needs to be converted to kilograms by dividing it by a thousand and gives us 4.905 newtons. Putting that back in this equation over here, we subtract the two, giving us 2.905 newtons, rounding up to 2.9 in the upwards direction. All right, so now we have these solutions here. Notice that the mass was given in grams. We had to convert that to kilograms to use in our F net equals MA equation, which is FG. So that gave us 0.5 kilograms. Other than that, the problem is almost entirely similar to the one we had above. Okay, so hopefully you learned something from this video. I will see you back for another example on the normal force. Thank you for watching and Fat Mama Physics signing out.